My disability is sacral lagenesis. I've got seven um, bones missing from my spine um, and I have no sacrum bone at the bottom of my spine which makes my legs in the cross position. It's really, really special. Um, having Paul um, and the way that he interacts with everybody, everybody remembers Paul, you know. And everybody knows Paul Hunt in, in the area, whether it's to do with disability or not. Once met, never forgotten. Um, and, and it is about, yes, it's about what he can do and the fact that he, he overcomes it, but he's, it's, his, it's his personality itself, you know. He's, he stand, that stands alone. It's, uh, you know, he's, a, he's a fantastic person to have around, very positive, um, and, and as I said, really passionate about what he does. Paul is my inspiration. He does things that other people say he can't do. To see him, like, drive and try, try and walk with his, with his hands, just an inspiration to me and what I want to be in the future. People look at wheelchairs and think that people in wheelchairs can't do anything. Um, well, I'm a great believer, I like to prove people wrong. Um, and I try to pass that on to other people as well. You know, have a go. If you can't do it, you can't do it. But always have a go at something. And there is lots of things that disable people, no matter in wheelchairs, out of wheelchairs. There's a lot of things that they can do. I've been employed since I was 18 years of age, so, you know, I've, I've never obviously sat around or anything. You know, I've always been active and always wanted to do something, and that's important. I thought this guy's different uh, and he's amazing. and. Uh... He kind of proves that every single day, ever since. Um, complete inspiration. Um, just takes his disability in his stride. And, and the biggest kind of compliment I can make is that we, although we, you know, when you see him, you can see it, but we don't think of him as disabled at all. You know what I mean? We just, it's Hunty, he'll do it, he'll get on with it, he'll, he'll make it happen. And um, he's a fantastic role model, ambassador. He's very passionate about wheelchair football, power chair football and uh, you know the things he's done for, for, the, for young people like you know Josh and that, they look up to him and uh, yeah he's, he's, a, he's a, a fantastic ambassador for the club. I want other people, other disabled people to, to do what I've done and, and go out and get a job um, you know don't come to you you have to go you, you know you have to work hard and, 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 and find jobs um, but when you've got that opportunity grasp it with two hands and, and, then, and then take it forward and, and then, you, then you're set up for life really. It's just that first first step into the, into the employment. I think it's, if you look, it's, it's an inspiration for the, for the people who go down to the foundation and obviously the sports that they, they bring along and the, you know, the development that I've seen over the last, last 10 years, especially since I've been at the club, it's, it's been phenomenal, the work that people put, put in down there. You know, people like Paul are, are attracting people to come and, and, and work with the foundation. You know, it's always a pleasure to go down there and help them out when we, whenever we can. We always have a good time. I've been here 10 years. That's a, that's a good achievement. And, you know, I enjoyed every minute of it, to be fair. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to it for the next 10 years. Yeah. My relationship with Paul, it's very good. It's kind of like a father that I've never had, that I've never had really, because Ever since I first started playing football with, I was from Jalbion. He's been there every step of the way.